years. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Now, Basil Chapman. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here on this Friday. Our options is this is quad, quad, uh, quadruple expiration. We're looking at the options expiring. We're looking at the E mini, which made a beautiful cup for me, an arch formation, going to a peak D right at the 200 period exponential moving average at about 38.75, plunges down to 38.54. And it's now trading up almost 20 points at 38.72, just touching the 200 period exponential moving average. One of the reasons why I wanted to do this show, regardless of whether I was, I was feeling good or not, not the issue. The issue is this is such an important session. I want you to go through a bunch of things. Number one, let's just go through starting with the Dow. So mid-month, and it's really important that we are in mid-month because so far the monthly chart uh, doesn't look very good. It was looking fabulous last month at the highs in the 34,000 area. Here we are down uh, 3,500 from that at 30,700. Doesn't look too good. The weekly chart, look, it's broken the Chapman Wave inside track propellant zone that becomes a repellent zone you can see it clearer here in the daily chart one of the reasons why we've remained short we went short uh, right over here on the 22nd of august the dog uh right there and uh so that big sharp pullback a bit of a rally and then another one then we actually went along a separate position altogether uh, trading long and then we got out of that so now all we have is the uh, short position and one of the reasons why I didn't want to get out of the short position for subscribers to my opening call is because now this is Technical Friday. So I wanted to do this because this is such an important moment. I expect that there will some, be some kind of a bounce of the lows today. But let, we'll get to that in a moment. Look, some of the technical tools I use. The nine period flipping underneath the 14 period changes to pink. That pink says it is negative until it changes back to green. You can get a big move up before it changes to green. In fact, that's what usually happens. But the green essentially says there's a chance now that this can be sustained, just as the pink, when it stayed pink, it can be sustained to the downside. So what we're looking at is you've got the pattern that I call the dreaded H, one over there went to an A minus because it failed, took out the left side low. It went to an A minus again on around about the 13th or so. And then we had that smash on Tuesday, over 1,200 points down. Now we're underneath the Chaffin Wave inside track propellant zone. It's now a repellent zone. It's going to take a lot to get above 31,360 just to get above the pink line as support. How the pink nine period exponential moving average goes above the 14 is going to take a move to the 32,300. It's going to be quite something to get there. That's number one. Number two is the MACD deflected lower. I never like a deflecting lower MACD. Just like a deflecting higher MACD keeps the price intact, moving to the upside. So this is a negative, but there is a pattern I call the W formation in the MACD. So we are getting very close to some kind of a decent bounce in the MACD, meaning there should be a bounce in the price. But the stochastic is at 11%. Under 20% is not good. In the teens, not good. In the single digits, it's very weak. So stochastic's weak. On balance volume, the blue line is weak. This little gray line right there, that's relative strength, way under 50. It's about 40, it's about 38% actually. Very weak. There's a lot that needs to be done for the, the, the trend just on the daily chart to revert back from a, a sell mode right now to go to a buy signal and then to a buy mode. 
So I just, I needed to clarify that. I wanted to show it. Let's just go back here for a moment because I said that to the, in the den, I said I'd, I'd follow the, I want to try a little clearer look. It went right to what? Just like the PT got repelled of the chair. How important is this? Hey, talking about technical analysis, I think it's Tuesday. It's a Tuesday, yep, that Larry Pesavento does his all-day webinar. It should be just a fabulous one. He's got these techniques that he repeats over and over and over. He's done it for over 45 years. It's just, it's an amazing thing to watch so, and to, to participate in. So what I'm looking at here is that we've gone to a PT, we've pulled back, look, Remember I'm talking about the nine period over the 14 or the nine period under the 14, look at that, when, when it went down, there's your chap wave one-to-one -one parallel extension. That's basically here in, in the, tiger, uh, uh, the tiger family. Most people talk about A, A to B equals C to D. That's completely different to the Chapman wave, peak A, peak B, etc. This is the, the lightning bolt pattern that says you can go down, go up, and then come back down again. And the distance from the A down to the B can restart once you go to that C, because that C can go to a D. Forget this has got nothing to do with wave counts, okay? Now what we're looking at is that 200 period moving average, as I'm talking to you, the green line has been so strong that you've now gone to a leg C. And when I said into the den, we're on our way. We've started the move to the upside. Doesn't tell you about a guarantee that it's going to stay there. But look, we've already got one sign. The MACD is strong. The stochastic is at 73%. If it gets over 83%, I, I think you've got some sustaining, yeah, that can hold. So this is a very important moment. Um, and another thing I want to look at here, so this is just trying to apply all the techniques that I just discussed with you that are applicable to the daily chart. It doesn't matter. Yes, the one-minute chart. It's the same. I'm, I'm not talking about anything different. In fact, if I looked at this chart, you would not be able to tell me whether this was a daily chart, a one-minute chart. It, it's a chart. That's all charts. It's the, it's the animal. It's the, it is the mechanism by which price points are made. And the price point is just a moment in time of human emotion. And here we are. We're in leg C, a very long leg uh, C. Um, and I could do the one-to-one. -one. Yes, just try that. Is, is that going to work? I don't know, but you can put it in. There it is. You got repelled at the 200 period moving average. It became support. And now we're going to see, is there a chance that you've got yourself a one-to-one? -one? Now, what I usually do is I change color, but I'll just do this for the moment so I can get it done. Otherwise, it's going to move without me. Here we go. One-to-one. -one. And get rid of that. Here we go. One, two, one. And there it is. So the whole thing about the chap wave one to one is that the angle, the number of bars from the from the low to the high, the pullback, and the next move to the upside should equal. So that says by uh, ten eighteen this morning, and now it is ten fourteen. It's four minutes to go. It should test. This level here, which is what, a 261.8 uh, uh, retracement. I don't want to go into that. I'd drawn that in last night. So what we're looking at is we've got until that moment to get to at least the 38.87 level. Good. I've already accomplished a whole bunch that I want to do this particular part of the morning session. I'll be back in a moment. Basil Chapman, I've got the handle Messiah voice on to the... Vista Gold owns and operates the largest undeveloped gold project in Australia, the Mount Todd Gold Project. Vista Gold just completed their feasibility study, resulting in a 7 million ounce gold reserve. Vista Gold has all major permits approved and has retained CIBC capital market assistance in evaluating alternatives and in completing an accretive transaction. Vista Gold trades on the NYSE American and TSX under the ticker symbol VGZ. Vista Gold, executing a strategy to create shareholder value. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, 
Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at tfnn.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi, everyone. We're back. Uh, yes, someone says uh, it doesn't sound like Basil. This is Basil's brother, the, the, the baritone. No, it's me. Uh, my voice will be back probably sometime next week. It just went on vacation for a little while with this COVID business. All right, let's just get back to the story that we're looking at. So this extension below the Chapman Wave inside track repellent, propellant zone makes this pink line, the 31,374 level, really important. But look at the weekly chart. Remember, we are talking about this. I was talking to uh, Tom in an interview on Tuesday, and I said, Please, this pattern called the dreaded H, and we've got, what is the dreaded H? Well, it's a very simple thing. I look at three core patterns. Straight line up, straight line down, one. Two is a cup formation. Three is an arch formation. You can get a mix of the two. On the way down, you can get a straight line. See, there it is, straight line. And the little bounce, and if it fails at a peak A or a B, you can go much deeper. But it did. And it did it again here. So the dreaded H is when the left side low is taken out. It looks like a lowercase H. Nothing. All my technical uh, um, patterns have nicknames, and the nickname essentially defines exactly what it is. Even if it's a complex one, like, a, um, like an uh, unconventional flat-based restart. Uh, you know, so in this particular case, it looks like an H and it takes out the left side low. Well, because of that, you've got to be very careful because it didn't even have enough strength to go to a B or a C, it just went to an A and down. So that says that the resistance levels that we are looking at now have to be taken out and fairly quickly because my rule of thumb with the H pattern is within two or three bars. If it doesn't go above, a close above the left side low, in this case 31,182 in the Dow, within two bars in this two days, two days, maybe three. This is already the third, this is the fourth day. Um, it, it means it's essentially telling you that the weakness is uh, more, more unrelenting 
and that the kind of strength that's needed now to, to have a balance that is sustainable says that you've got to take out the highs of all the star, all the all the bars on the left side, and you've got to do it fairly quickly. So thirty one thousand four hundred by next Wednesday or Thursday says, aha, now you can have a much better balance. But if it doesn't do that, it says, watch that weekly chart. I don't even want to talk about it. Well, I'll have to talk about it. That low that was made, that doji candle low that was made the week of the 15th of July, 30,143. It's only 600 points. Remember, we can do this kind of stuff in a day. But that becomes the next. And if that's taken out, all of a sudden, your June low of uh, June the 17th, week of the 17th of 29,653 becomes... Um, it really becomes not just a magnet, but a powerful, powerful attractor saying that if you take out this particular uh, support level, there is really nothing next because, and then after that, it's just empty. You go all the way, oh, I don't even want to discuss it. Then you go to the left side low of October of 2020 of 26,143. That's the trough in the monthly chart. I don't want to go there. I just want to say, I would love. I, there are so many technical signs saying to me that we are within days of some kind of a, a climactic turn to the upside. Uh, I, I would prefer that we don't have this, what many people would expect today, a sudden surge to the upside by the close. That just usurps the energy. I, I, I want the energy just to be taken out. I want the uh, energy on the downside to accelerate to the point that it gets oversold enough. And you'll see that by the VIX index. So that we can have another one of those very sharp, a rally that says to me, now you can start to look at, um, you can start to look at uh, the three times long positions for another trade like you had before with the three times long, the uh, SOXL, that's the semiconductors, three times long, the uh, uh, TQQ, which is the QQQ. Uh, that, that to me says, aha. And you can even think of ARK, ARKK. I don't want to even touch that right now. But wait, what are we looking at? 27.81, up 154 in the VIX index. But wait, that's a peak G, a leg G right now. Um, and you've got yourself a trend line. It doesn't matter whether it's a VIX or stock or whatever. This trend line to me is now very important. Look, from there you join as many tops of the wicks you, as you can. You go back in again like that and you've got the volatility index um, if it pulls back one more time it makes another high that becomes a new leg C so this I have to call a leg G slash B because the MACD's made the M shape pattern this is a positive stochastic is at 72% that's okay and remember I don't actually like to apply do it but I don't like to use this as a, a critical information that I, I would bet the bet the house on when it comes to the, the VIX and the Chapman Wave methodology. It does get there, but it can fail. Look at this peak C, coronavirus, business, Fed, everything uh, coming together for this particular high that was made right here in the monthly chart at 85.44, March 2020. That was a major, major low in the market, major high in the, uh, in the VIX index. And it was only at a peak C. Uh, since then, we've had a peak A, peak B, peak C. We haven't had a leg D. But that's not the issue. The issue is that I have to rename it. And that says that the buying of uh, insurance or as a particular trade of the volatility index means that the selling pressure can remain high, especially if we, we're still in the 26 to 27 area coming into Monday, Tuesday. All right, so we've got that out the way. We're at a very critical moment there. Let's, now we've got a couple of things. I haven't even touched the other indices. Here we go, S&P, SPX.X, there we are. Yes, so for those who are just tuning in, it is Basil Chapman. It is the uh, bass baritone Basil Chapman uh, getting ready to sing uh, Mozart's Requiem or... Uh, Beethoven's Ode to Joy on to, oh no, that was, uh, that was Handel's Messiah. Um, what are we looking at? Uh, uh, Freuden, Freuden, 
That's right. This is the last movement of the Ninth Symphony. Um, all right. We're looking at minus 40 in the S&P, 38.61. Made a dreaded H pattern at a peak A. Now it's a peak A minus because it failed. And we're coming off the low of the day. That's, a, that's important. The MACD is very weak, but it is in the M-shaped pattern. That's a pattern that has the chance. And I, I'm thinking we're really close uh, to at least a pretty decent bounce. Not just a bounce, I'd say almost like a rally. Uh, and so much bad news on Federal Express. Come on. Okay, so the stochastic is higher than it was over there. I like that. 39.03 back on the 7th, September the 6th. And here we are, today's low is 38.37.45. We're about 15 points off that. No, we're more than that. 38.59 right now. And we went down to 38.37. Yeah, we are up 20 points. So you can see the weekly chart. We went underneath the inside track pro balance zone. Now that's a rebalance zone. And that says that we need to see a rally into the 30, I believe it's 3,900 area. I'll be back in a moment. Dow's down 244. S&P's down. Thank If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The gold report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed Designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. It's all funny to you. I'll just start thinking as soon as it's done. I have lost my sound. I hope you can hear me. I'm back. But, ah, there you are. Hi, folks. I'm back. Basil Chapman. This is the Tiger Conditions Hour on Friday the 16th. Dow's down 234. S&P's down 41. And we just discussed that, that it's really important for the S&P to get back to 39.39 uh, sometime by maybe Wednesday of this coming week. We'll see what happens. And also, we'll see what happens today. There, there's, there are a lot of people. You can, you can tell by the action in the market. There are a lot of people wanting to buy and not short anymore. They're wanting to buy. 
And we did not get, oh, we just missed it. So that was the level that I was looking at right there. What was the high peak C at 10.14 this morning? It was 30, oh, see, where do you go? Uh, 38.86.25, and then we pull back. We haven't made that peak D, but now we've got an inside peak A, peak B. This is probably a leg C right now. So this, I think that we, we are trying our best. We, the market itself is trying its best in the S&P, you can see it, to at least get back to something like the 3890 level. We're at 3880 right now, another 10 or 15 points higher. If it can start to hold in the, wow, if it can hit 3900 anytime this today, I think they will, they will start to see buying. We did some buying for subscribers to my opening call this morning. We bought a stock, a very interesting stock. One we followed for since it came out as an IPO. Didn't understand it. To tell you the truth, I still don't quite understand it. I understand the concept. I just don't understand the financial part of it. But I think it's in an area. Let me just have a little cup of tea here. I think it's in an area that says to me it might be able in this environment to be market insensitive. That's all I want. I want it to be able to be independent. We'll see. Uh, we bought it at $18.79. It's trading at $18.92. It's one of the few things that's actually up. Um, that's good. So uh, some of our stocks are going to get taken. I'm sure they're going to get taken out today. Oh, there's one in particular I didn't follow. Oh, I hope we didn't get stopped out of that one. Oh, let me just check. Um, so the low today is... Oh, oh, did we just get stopped out to the penny? Did someone actually know that that was our stop? I don't know. I'm going to have a look in a moment. So let me just go on here. Mm -hmm. I think that they took us out to the penny. Oh, and it's a stock. It was doing so well. It just got hammered through the market conditions today. I think we might even go back into it. I don't know. I just don't like getting messed around like that. What a, to the penny. That was the low of the day. Ah, what a pity. Um, okay, so let's get back to the QQQ. 288.24 down 291. See, it got, got gapped down, and now they're trying to v reverse the candle. The day's young, you just never know. And I've got 288 as uh, an important level of support. Uh, it's at 288 right now. Uh, the low of the day is 285.64. These are big moves. And we'll see if it's able to, by the end of the day, at least try to garner enough strength to try. It won't be great, but it'll be better than closing at the low of the day. But look, the QQQs, look how they've been reversed from this chap we inside track repellent zone. So many times I drew this cup in to say, is there a chance that it can hold? Well, it didn't hold. It went lower down. And I don't even know if I can keep this as, as a semicircle right now. But look at this. This is a beautiful technique. It's so simple, this technique. You take the outer bars, and then you draw an inside track, uh, a mini channel, and you see what happens. And it, it, it there's nothing to do. You just watch the price, and it gets repelled every time. When the queues eventually, at some time in the next uh, month or so, start to trade about 322, 328, you're looking at a really nice breakout from this resistance level, and unfortunately, the weekly chart is not looking very good right now. All right, so that's the QQQ. I won't spend too much time on IWM. Next week, I'll talk about the IWM. It held the left side low very nicely. It's taken it out. Now it's above it. So in some kind of, it's a very interesting thing. In some, fa in some fashion, what you've got is that the IWM, so often lately has acted very well, but the overall pattern is still very weak. So you're looking at the weekly, at the daily, and you say, hey, that's very, look at that rally, and then it pulls back, and it's holding the left side low. Today takes it out, now it's above it. It's a leg E to the downside. 
Ah, oh, but wait a minute. Um, that's not good enough. It needs to do a lot more. But it is improving, and we'll talk about that uh, next week. All right, gold. Goldilocks is up 10 at 16.87. It took out the left side loan, the dreaded H pattern, in both the daily and the weekly. Unfortunately, in the monthly as well. So up 10 is fine, but it keeps making lower lows and lower highs. And that just says to me, uh, and that just says to me, within the context of the, uh, I'll better do silver. I want you to go to the dollar, but I'll go to silver. Because silver had a much better rally off the low of the September 3rd or whatever it was that day of the low. It screamed from the uh, low 17s up into the, almost, it just about touched 20. And then it pulled back sharply this morning to 1877. And here it is at 19.51. So silver, in a sense, you remember talking about the IWM and the general and the S and P and the uh, the Dow, and the IWM keeps having this quite nice uh, daily chart, but then it starts to fail. But lo and behold, we're looking at the uh, silver having a nicer chart in some ways than gold, and yet it is beholden to gold. There's just no question to about that. And you can see the weekly. Look at the pink nine period moving average, except. For the very first time, I can talk about this and say the histogram and the W formation in the weekly chart of silver, this is the first time that it is getting so close. I have to wait for next week, but it's the first time that it's got this close to crossing positive since it went negative in the MACD the week of 24th, uh, 29th of April. Um, so within that context, you've got a V-shaped pattern. You've got a V-shaped pattern right here in the volatility index. you got the stochastic way better than it was. I did mention this last week. I said you've got a pattern uh, earlier this week. I mentioned that you've got a, a better stochastic than it was at the low way back in, uh, in July. Yeah, July the 15th when it was at 18.08. The stochastic made a low and then it ran up got repelled by the black 14 period exponential moving average, pulled back, and the low that was made three weeks ago uh, saw the stochastic way better, and the MACD was improving. Look at the histogram, how it's improving. So in some sense, I don't know what, how it's going to work out. We've already got the one-to-one -one Chapman wave inside. This is the Chapman wave one-to-one -one parallel extension. And what I mean by that is that when you identify the top that takes you down, it should have the same number of bars and the same diagonal pattern going to the low. Well, it's done that. So this is very interesting. Silver is looking quite good. And the dollar, as we go to a break, the dollar is holding quite well. It's up 19 ticks at 109.89. I'll be back. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, 
as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman. We are back. The, the, uh, the dollar is at 109.83, up 12 ticks. So as long as it remains in this particular area, you see, look at the nine period exponential moving average, the green line above the 14 period. And, and that's so important, even though the MACD is weak, look, it's negative, even though the stochastic's terrible at 62%. Of course, there's no unbalanced volume here because it is uh, the index, the uh, dollar index. But what's really important is that it's, it's holding in this area. At some point, if it drops again and it goes to 108, oh, I'd put it at about 108 points. Before it even takes out the left side low of the um, five days ago, four days ago, of 107.68, if it just gets to 108.50, it's going to look like the dreaded H pattern. This is peak A, peak B. This is gray peak A. Why is it gray? Because it's, I don't know, the MACD is not good. Stochastic's not good. So it says it's a, it's a bounce, but it doesn't have the veracity of the Chapman Wave methodology upgrade to a buy mode. It's just a bounce. So right now, uh, right there, okay, it says what happens next is really important. But what happens next is really important for a lot of things because if the market is beholden to the dollar, to not a full extent, but just to a large extent, <coughs> excuse me, it is saying a dollar decline, especially the way we're looking at gold right now, uh, gold trying its best to form some kind of a low. There we go. Let's do that again. You see. Uh, looking very, very weak, but in the low range, but the silver is acting a little bit better. This is the high, high grade copper for the moment. Yeah, high grade copper is at the lower end of the rung, not doing all that great. Uh, let's look at uh, UNG. Question came in about UNG. Uh oh, another cup of tea drink. Yeah, this is an A right here. You went to a peak E top right about the 27th or so of August. Pulled back very sharply from over 34 to uh, about just on 27. <coughs> Bounces to the 32-ish area, and now it's at 27.53. And the weekly chart, remember I said, there's no other way I can count it. United States Natural Gas Fund, UNG. <coughs> that is a peak B. I had no other way in the shaman way of counting that. I could have had an alternate count. There's no alternate count. And that's just suggesting that based on my methodology, even if it pulls back, unless it takes out the lows that were made right here, the week of the seventh, uh, the week of the 1st of July, 1828, and the next week was, I think, uh, was it 1830? I think it was a little high. Yes. Uh, 1828, 
If it goes to 1827, it just negates that. It'll be very unusual to negate a huge move like this from a peak being come all the way down and say, that's it, you're done, you have to start over again. And that just says natural gas is probably in play for 2022 and should go to the 36, 37 area. That's the way I'm looking at it right now. Look at the, look at the United States Natural Gas Fund. Uh, this is the monthly chart. You see the thick pink line right here? Look at that. This is a measured move. <coughs> I had a measured move from the left side over there back in 2015 uh, to the high that was there was a peak D, and then a pullback, then I went to a peak B, and there was a high that was made back in July. And I said, if there is a match, what happens next is going to be really important because it's a time match, not a price match not a price match in the sense that it went to back to the same price, but it absolutely is a, a, um, a time match. And that just says that be careful because this is the area, that's the big test, because if there's a break to the upside above this high that was made of 34.50 uh, last month, and it could start to get to the 34, about the 36.37 level, then all of a sudden, this is going to look like, uh-oh, it's not going to happen. This is a very strong move. We're going to go much higher. So I'm suspecting the natural gas, for whatever reason, is in play. Whoops, did I do the right thing there? Or the wrong thing? Doesn't matter. Um, and therefore, pullbacks should be bought. Now, we have a, a, a gas stock that was, uh, there we go. We have a gas stock that was natural gas. And, uh, well, we still have it. <laughs> we still got a, a very nice profit in it. We've taken some more profits. But I'm watching this closely. It's, it's, it's not acting, they're not actually in sync. So I don't quite understand it, but at least we're still holding it, and at least it's still positive for us. A uh, question came in about the XLF. Look, the XLF, Another reason why I wanted to do this today is that I thought it was so important to show what's showing, what's showing at least relative strength or relative weakness. Well, in the general market, the banks, the XLF, went to a peak A after that peak D just above the 200 period moving average comes plunging down to the 33s, goes all the way back to 34. Now it's trading at 32.98. Uh, it's very important because the amount of work that's being done in trying to break above the Chapman inside track propellant zone and not get it back into the rebalance zone, we're, we're almost there. So if, there's, if there is a weekly close next week below 32 in the XLF, it's going to make it harder and harder for this to, to show leadership. And there was just a moment where it was showing leadership, and uh, not to say leadership to the uh, uh, new highs level, just leadership in the general context of, of what's happening in the general market and what's happening specifically in the uh, financial S&P Select Financial Spider Fund. Next question. Uh, let me just say, I think there was a question I missed earlier on. Uh... Yeah, I'm going to try to enjoy the baritone voice as much as I can. Just uh, sing all these low voice songs. S L V N E A. Almost flat. X O K. Officially. So I end up for being a very sad part of it. Yeah, don't forget Larry's webinar coming up on Tuesday. Should be absolutely fabulous. Uh, X O X O X O X O oh, X O S O X O L is green. Oh ho ho! Let's look at the S M H S. Yes, the SMHs are down a dollar at two one point ninety nine. I, I, in fact, this is part of what I wanted to discuss today. Thank you so much for reminding me, uh, S and P. Um, this is an either an alternate count. It's a low. It's a lowercase letter because it's on the way down. These are troughs. So this is either a G or the, I, I can't really call it anything else but a G slash B. If it's a G slash B and it's actually a B, we're going much, much lower. But this is interesting. Horrible chart from the monthly chart. It's got a down arrow. It's in a cell mode. This is the first time I can actually say, even though it's halfway through the month, that there's a really good chance that I, I have to wait for the end of the month to give a proclamation about it. But I'm saying that there's a good chance that the SMHs... It's not good. They're going to be in a, they're on a sell signal, 
but there's a chance I'll have to upgrade it to a cell mode by the end of the month. The weekly chart has made the dreaded H pattern, but it hasn't taken out 189.94, the low that was made in July. So that's a good sign. I, I need to do a little more on this. Actually, during the break, I'm going to do a couple of things and then I'll get back to it because I think the estimation is going to tell us a lot. And at this particular time, they're telling us a lot of negative things. I'll be back in a moment. Basil Chapman, Tiger Fish Tower, that's on June 17th. Are you grinding in the market, but seeing little to no return? Or are you a successful trader, simply looking to make your job a little easier? Learn to take the path of least resistance with David White's powerful trading newsletter. David White is an accomplished trader whose deep understanding of technology and the markets allows him to consistently find and share winning trades. Support and resistance define the ranges in which stocks trade. By understanding these trading ranges, David White is able to find the path of least resistance. David White's trading newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, is delivered daily before the markets open to make every trading day an easy win. Visit TFNN.com today and subscribe to David White's Ultimate Trading Newsletter for $119 a month. And try all of our newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Take the path of least resistance at TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, uh, folks, in this final segment, uh, and uh, thank you for the well wishes that I'm getting. I, you know, in, in a sense, I am feeling a lot better, but the, the voice is the tell, and the throat is oof. It's kind of sore. 26.33, uh, down 47 in MRO, Marathon Oil Corporation. Yes, you can call that a B. I'm always a little conservative. You remember in that second run-up in the U-shaped pattern, I like to say it's a, it's a B, but I'm going to go with G for the moment because of that pattern that I call the double hump, camel hump. You remember? This is the in the MACD when it pulls back, it makes an arch, and then it pulls back, and then it makes a second one, but it starts to fail, and the stochastic is starting to fail. I treat that as I say that's the residual strength. This is exactly what we saw in the weekly chart of the S&P back in October of 2007. You remember when I finally got that sell signal? 
Um, it looked like in July it was all over, and I said, no, there could still be two or one more one more rally if the, there's a this double camel hump. This is just another bounce that's going to bounce in the MACD. So this, I, I, I like what's going on, but I'd be a little conservative. If you are long, don't worry, you are long, just put in your stop, because if it does go below, uh, it's a 2628 marathon oil MRO. If it fills the gap and goes under 2579, I'd say, okay, now be careful because it could be a deeper pullback. And it's in leg C in the uh, weekly chart. The MACD is just about trying to go positive. I, I think it's in play, but I think you have to have wider stops if you want to buy and hold. But on a very short-term basis, I just want to give you an alternate count. I'm treating it more as the alternate count, negative part rather than the positive part as a B. Um, next thing I want you to do is just real quickly, yeah, so uh, I, I'm obviously not going to be able to do this for you, but I just wanted to show you that the E-mini um, made at peak D right there. What is a peak D? Peak D is in the fourth highest peak in the Chapman Wave methodology where you've got to be careful because that's when other things can happen. Well, the one-minute chart made a peak D. If at any point later today, the E-mini, the, the, the sample is showing you about 6, 8, 97, that's really good. It's ready for those 6, 28, 63, not good.